how to prepare for your examination in under 30 days. That's right, the tips and the tricks that I would suggest you to be as efficient as possible and to finish your preparation as soon as possible. And that is what we'll be discussing in today's video. Now before I start, there's one thing that I have to get off my chest and that is that this is not a hack. I mean, you have to put in the work. Okay, all I'm doing basically is that I'm just adding a prefix of smart to the equation. Smart work plus your hard work. That is kind of what we'll be going over in today's video. So with that said, let us jump right into it. Now the first point is that as soon as we start studying, there's one thing that we need to, we need to control and that is fear. Now fear might be the reason why you've actually started studying, but I think it's important to remove this in the beginning phase. So how do we remove this fear, okay? Firstly, let us understand why this fear arises, okay? Fear is basically coming from this feeling of not having a good understanding of the topics. So it's kind of having this inverse relationship. The more fear you have means the less you understand something. So I guess you can understand that the easiest way to remove fear is to have a good understanding, a broad understanding. Okay, now how exactly will we go about doing this? So firstly, what we need to do is that we need to take a blank sheet of paper and just write down all the chapters that are coming for the examination. And after that, what we should be doing is that we'll just go page by page, okay, just brush through the chapters, right, all the pages, and just read the headings and the subheadings of each chapter. So basically what we're doing is that we're making a personalized index, right, with headings and subheadings that we think are important in regards to that chapter. Okay, now this serves in two ways. Firstly, within a single glance, like we can get a whole idea about what exactly is there for the examination. And this will kind of give you this feeling of, okay, this is it, right? This is all there is to study for the examination. And secondly, once you start going through the chapters, you can physically appreciate the, the, the progress that is happening. And this kind of adds like, uh, adds like a positive feedback loki. Now, I don't even mind if you actually take one whole day to do this whole process, okay? Because this step is both crucial and it is both worth it. And who knows, you might even find chapters that you have never thought actually existed. Exploration mode on. So now that we have actually completed, right, scoping the subject and getting a broad overview of the subject, now it is time to delve in, right? time to get our hands dirty. So a couple of points here that I want to share with you. Okay, firstly, when you start, studying do not start with the chapters that you have already covered right it is both easy and it is both lazy okay to do this okay because our priority here is to complete all the chapters right that is our priority here and if we waste valuable time revising the chapters that we already know in the first place it is not worth it now the second point is that actually a continuation of the first point we instead we should start with the chapters that are hard because right now when we start we have this huge motivation so we need to leverage that motivation and do the hard things first and i will tell you you will actually thank yourself later for doing the hard things first okay so how do we know that a chapter is hard i'll, I'll give you the simple guideline that you can follow like if a chapter feels like you know when you just think about that chapter if you feel like that is not a good chapter. Like if you feel like, oh man, I don't like that. That is a chapter, okay? That is a hard chapter. Study that chapter first. Now the third point I have for you is basically the 80-20 principle. Now what the 80-20 principle states that 80% of the output comes from just 20% of the input. So in our context, what it means is that 80% of the marks actually comes from just 20% of the questions. So it is important to focus on the 20% of the questions so that you will get 80% of the marks. So how do we know what exactly is this 20% of the information? Easy, just look at past question papers, you know, look at the question banks and see which are the questions that have repeatedly come for the examination. Now these exact questions might not actually get repeated, but still the topic which has been repeated that is an important topic and that is the 20 percentage. Now one thing that I want to add here is the fact that you know you don't need to read the introduction part for one whole hour, okay? Yes, I'm guilty of doing it. You see, the thing is that the examiners do not care, okay, about this introduction part. So neither do we have to care about the introduction part. Just skip introduction altogether. Coming to the fourth point and that is that you know, we have understood what exactly the 20 percentage of the information is, right? So now we have to actually start learning that 20 percentage. So that is what the fourth point is about. So here I just want to divide it into two parts. That is person A and person B. Person A is the one who is having a good idea about the concepts, 
right he's having like he might have read the textbook he might have heard something that i was taken in class uh, basically he has a good foundation like he knows what the 20 percentage is actually about and then there's person b person b is the one who has had no idea about the topic right this is the first time maybe this is the first time he has actually explored this topic so that's person b a person a is all good okay let's talk about person b what i would suggest to person b you see i would not suggest person b to actually start reading the textbook from scratch right because right now the the important part is to have a good understanding right a, a good concept a good foundation in the most efficient way possible and how do we do this well the internet just go on to youtube search for the topic and just watch the first or the second video that pops up this video that you will be watching in under 20 minutes will actually give you a good understanding a good base of the subject on the other hand what would happen if you actually read the textbook is that you would have wasted two hours right and you would have not got like a complete understanding of the subject right i mean it's just a waste of time reading textbook if you're starting from scratch what i'm trying to say is that like if you don't know a topic just google that topic just read about it or watch a video about it and you will have saved a lot of time so now coming to the last point which kind of glues all other all other points together and that is revision okay you must do revision okay it is not you should do revision it is not you can do it is not you might as well no it is you must do revision let me just let me just make that clear you see what had actually happened to me was that like i had 30 days to study for the examination and in the first 25 days i completely finished my syllabus and then towards the end of it i thought i'll just revise for the upcoming examination and guess what happened i forgot everything that i learned in anatomy and the problem was that i actually studied anatomy in the first part right in the first few days and then for two weeks i didn't study anatomy and towards the end when i picked it up boom everything gone it's all gone so that is why i'm emphasizing so much on revision if i had to give you a guideline to how much like to how exactly should you go about doing revision a simple guideline would be that every four hours you study for three hours you should study something new and for one hour just to revise that topic and as you go on you can actually shift it to two hours studying towards revision and towards the end one hour new studying and three hour revision okay now to sum up the points for you firstly do not start with the chapters that you already know it is a complete waste of time secondly start with the chapters that are hard it will help you in the long run thirdly is to find out what the 20 percentage is right 80 20 principle find out your 20 percentage fourthly in order to study the 20 percentage if you really don't know anything about it just watch a video on youtube it will save you a ton of time and lastly revise 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 the most important point which actually makes everything else valid so those are the things that i have for you so those are the points that i have for you in today's video actually i had more points but you know in, in terms of how do you write the examination and how do you attend the practicals but i guess i'll make a separate video for that anyways so so with that being said if you like this video like this video smash that like button i forgot and if you haven't subscribed already please do consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one peace